I'm sorry, so the first thing is to create your new Java file. Okay, you know how to do this because you've watched the previous video. Um, example scan, uh, example, okay? So I'm going to create, I'm going to write public class example, then public static void main string args, <clears throat> and then close and close. Okay, so now, um, there is, we know how to print something, right? So system.out.println will print enter a number that, as expected, well, I have to, I'll have to save it first. Save it, I'm going to go to here, uh, for one. I'll just save it someplace. Um, I'll save it here, example.java. Okay, so I'll compile it, and if I run it, of course it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's going to say enter a number, and that's it. Now, the idea would be that I could read that number and then do something with that number. So you can imagine, for example, uh, entering your age and your other demographics and then putting it this into a database or a web application or something. So for that we're going to use an object that is called the scanner. Scanner can read from the keyboard. And to use that object you first have to tell, have to tell your program to keep that object in mind, which you do by saying import java util scanner. <coughs> So in Java, there it's an object-oriented language, which means that some things are going to be programs, uh, pure programs, and some things are going to be programmed on objects. And actually, you will realize later that everything is programmed on an object. But so, for example, system system is an object, your system, and then the out part of your system that's an object too. System dot out means screen, and then print line that's a method of the screen. You can the, the output, the screen, can print can print stuff. Another object is the scanner. So we'll create a scanner. Um, you first have to create a placeholder to hold the scanner. So you'll say, you'll say, scanner keyboard. Okay. This, I'm going to create an object called keyboard of type scanner. So I'm going to create a scanner called keyboard. This is the same thing as saying, you know, if the object is table, I'm going to create a, a table that's called, you know, desk, right? So that's a kind of table. So in some ways, this is similar. I'm going to create, I'm going to associate this name with a scanner. It's going to be a scanner. And the way to finalize the association, you say, this is new scanner and then system.in. So I'm going to scan the keyboard. System.in is the Java lingo for keyboard. Why can they name it keyboard? There are some reasons for that, but I'm, I'm with you. Why don't they just say keyboard? Now, so scanner KBD is going to be a new scanner on the keyboard. That is what I'm saying here. Okay, And then what I'm going to say is kbd, okay, dot, I'm going to call a method, get next int, okay, so kbd get next int means in the keyboard object, the scanner, okay, from the scanner, as I type as a monkey would, just get the next thing that is an integer, that it's a number, okay, keyboard dot get next int means get the next thing that it's a number, okay, um, we're going to put it in, uh, and then whenever you get things or whenever you create things, you have to put them in some placeholders, and those placeholders are call, called variables. We're going to talk about them more, but so for now I'm going to create an integer placeholder because I'm going to get the next integer from the screen, so I'll just save it in an integer called number, okay? So that's going to be 
my keyboard dot get next int. Okay, and then I'm going to print it out. System dot out dot print line number. Okay, I'm going to save this. <coughs> I will so so let's recap on what this is supposed to do. Well first I we're, I'm going to print enter a number. Then I will create a scanner called KBD that is actually looking at the system.in which is the keyboard. So I'm going to create a scanner KBD that it's paying attention to what the keyboard does. Now, if the keyboard if with the keyboard I type an integer KBD is going gonna, is gonna to swallow that and spit it out and put it in the placeholder called number. Now, because it, it's an integer, number, or whatever this name is, has to be of type INT, integer. And then I'm just going to print this. So let's compile this. Whoops! I got a... Um, I got a problem here. The, this get next int doesn't exist. Actually, scanner likes get int. That's what scanners like. So I'll just compile it. So scanners get like get scanners like next int. That's what the scanner likes. And then I've compiled and then I'm gonna I'm gonna run. Enter a number. So I'll just type nine and then it'll print nine. This is what we did. Now you have a slightly more complex number that is creating a scanner a scanner called KBD and it's storing whatever scanned in an integer variable called number and we're printing it out. Stay tuned for the next lesson.